गाइज माई नेम इज अंकुश गौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू गॉन टू सीरीज सो फॉर वी इंस्टॉल जे डी के एंड देन वी सेट द पाथ इन्वायरमेंट वेरिएबल ऑन योर कंप्यूटर विद जावा इंस्टॉलेशन पाथ इन दिस टूटोरियल वी कैन लर्न हाउ टू रन अ बेसिक जावा प्रोग्राम माई इंटेंशन इन दिस टूटोरियल इज जस्ट टू गिव यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ हाउ जावा प्रोग्राम लुक्स लाइक एंड हाउ एंड वेयर इट जनरेट्स आउटपुट एंड ऑफकोर्स all the steps which are needed to run a basic java program so let's start open notepad and start writing java program on it just to save some time i have already written a basic java program this program just prints a message as the output hello world this is my first java program shortly we'll see all steps needed to run this java program and also where and how it generates the output this line in the program is printing a message as the output hello world this is my first java program and all of the things like class public etc etc in the program we'll learn in the subsequent tutorials for now just concentrate on how a java program looks like and how to run it later we'll learn everything about a java program so our hello world program is ready now save the file with the name hello world dot java this is an important thing to know about the file containing a java program has to be saved with dot java file extension and that's what i've done here with this step i've saved the program with the name hello world but with dot java file extension in my local d drive now question is how to run it There are a couple of steps we need to follow to run this program. First step is we will need to compile this Java program. So what does compilation means? You write programs using Java language, but ultimately you want your computer to run this Java program and unfortunately your computer doesn't understand Java. So in this step you translate the program from Java programming language to a language which your computer understands i'm going to talk more on this compilation process in the immediate subsequent tutorials that is java virtual machine and finally in the second step we just run it so let's perform the first step open command prompt window and go to d drive now here type java c hello world dot java and press enter this step is going to compile the program which is written in hello world dot java file and it's going to produce one more file with the same name hello world but with a different extension that is dot class in the same directory so this step will produce a file with the name hello world dot class so first step is done that is compiling the program now let's run the program type java and then file name hello world and press enter so here it produces the output hello world this is my first java program let me reiterate what we did in this demo we created a program using notepad and we saved it on our local drive with dot java extension and then we compiled it using java c command and finally we ran it using java command Now in previous tutorial we set path environment variable on our computer with java installation path and i never told you the reason for doing so now after successfully running a java program you can easily understand why i did so just now you saw i compiled and ran hello world program using java c and java commands actually java c and java are programs which are placed in bin directory of java installation which are provided by java people for compiling and running a java program now you have two options for instructing computer to compile and run a java program using these programs that is java c and java first option is the way we just did in this demo that is just provide name of these programs and you are done that is java c file name dot java for compiling a program and java and just file name for running a java program 
that is it and second way is you provide full path of these programs like this full path means the exact path where these programs are present on your computer i'm sure you will say first option is better because you do not need to write full path of java c and java programs for compiling and running a java program you know it's kind of convenient to use just java c and java and not their full path as an option second so if you are going with first option you will need to perform one time activity before compiling and running a java program that is setting up path environment variable with the java installation path up to bin directory and thereafter you go on using just java c and java without including their full location in the commands for compiling and running a java program and if you are not setting path environment variable you will always need to compile and run a java program with the commands including full location of java c and java programs as an option second and that's it this is the reason for setting up path environment variable with java installation path up to bin directory in the next tutorial we'll download and install eclipse id guys please like this video if it really helped you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel gone to series and i'm going to catch you in my next tutorial